Hello, sports fans and White Sox fans. And if you're really a White Sox fan, you know what happened. Yeah. We took it to the Twins. And not only did we take it to the Twins, but we made the playoffs. You like that? You like that? That's right. White Sox locked up their first playoff berth since 2008. That's big news. Big time. So yeah, we just got done with a series against the Twins. Now, we are really in the league. We're up near the top in all offensive categories. First in a lot of them. We're second in pitching in the American League. And that wrecking train, that's right, that wrecking train got ready for the Twins. Now, game one, game one was Barrios versus Cease. And Cease uh, went four and two-thirds in that game, allowed five hits, and one earned run and struck out four. Anderson, Tim Anderson. Now, Tim Anderson and Abreu have been scalding hot. They've been hotter than the surface of Venus. Anderson is three for five with an RBI in that game. Abreu was two for five. Jimenez was two for three. Engel was one for one with an RBI. And Madrigal had an RBI. So the Sox win that game 3-1, to one. the win goes to Colome in relief, and the loss goes to Tyler Rogers. Um, and then the Sox, with that win, the Sox were, at that point, 31-16, and 16, and two games up on the Twins, and five up on Cleveland. Now remember, coming into this series, we were one game up on the Twins, had just a single game lead on them. So game two uh, pitted Dobnik from Minnesota against Dunning. And in this game, I guess now Dunning has actually stretched himself out enough because in this game, Dunning actually pitched seven innings and he was stellar. He allowed three hits, two walks, and he struck out seven. And uh, that was on the way to... The White Sox, 32nd win of the season. Anderson was 3 for 5 with an RBI, again, staying scalding hot at this point. Abreu was 3 for 4. McCann was 2 for 3 and 2 RBIs. I mean, really, between Anderson and Abreu, one of those guys better get American League MVP. I mean, there's just no question that one of the two deserves it. I, but I don't know which one. I can't pick. So uh, anyway, and then the, the White Sox won 6-2 to two in that particular game, their sixth straight win, and their ninth in the last ten at that point. So then we come to a rather little bit of a letdown in game three, and uh, this was Odorizzi against Giolito, and you like the odds of us winning this game going in. Giolito, of course, having a great year. And Odorizzi coming in with only 10 innings pitched and an 8-10 earned run average. What's that all about? So anyway, you're looking at that matchup and you're thinking, oh, hey, yeah, we're on our way to sweeping the Twins maybe. So uh, anyway, Rosario gets a home run for the Twins in the, uh, in the second inning and it's 1-0 Twins. Then Byron Buxton gets a two-run home run for the Twins in the fourth and makes it 3-0. Now, in the bottom of that inning, Abreu hit a solo shot and made it 3-1. to one. But, as luck would have it, the Twins tacked on two more later in the game, I think the eighth inning or something, and we didn't tack any more on. So, the uh, Twins actually ended up winning that game 5-1, to one, which uh, dropped us. To, Giolito got the loss. He, he's 4-3 and three on the year. That dropped us to 32 and 17, and uh, we were at that point um, plus one. We must have been plus one. Let's see, one and then two, and then yeah. So we were one up on the twins, and then uh, no, we were two. Yeah, we were two up on them, and we were six up on Cleveland, and then and our magic number was one. And as it turns out, we got that magic number. So now, game four was uh, pitted um, Maida 
for the Twins against Lopez. Now, this game, on the flip side, this game you came into and you, you weren't liking the odds. But Abreu was two for three with two RBIs. Lopez pitched five and a third and allowed four hits and three earned runs. Hewer got the, the uh, win. He went one and two thirds, allowed two hits and no earned runs. The loss, Clippard was saddled with the loss for the Twins, who uh, ended up losing that game 4-3. to three. And that, that uh, catapulted us to 33-17 and 17 and the playoffs. So we're now plus three on Minnesota and six and a half up on Cleveland. Cleveland has been doing a slow, slow fade to black. I don't know what's going on with them. I mean, you can't really blame it on trading um, Clevenger to San Diego because they they were disciplining Clevenger even before they traded him, and he was sitting at home. So I don't know what's going on in Cleveland, and frankly, I don't want to know what's going on in Cleveland, and I don't care as long as they stay way behind us, and they are. So uh, that makes us 8-2 and two in our last 10 games. And, uh, and like I said, now we have clinched our first playoff berth since 2008. So this is huge. And I think we can go pretty far in this um, age of the uh, virus because um, uh, really what we've got is we've, uh, uh, the rest of the schedule is, I think, three against Cincinnati, then four against Cleveland, who I, again, is in complete disarray and tail spinning. And then, uh, and then I think we finish it up with three or maybe four against the Cubs. That's all we got left, folks. That's it. That's all that's left. So, yeah, and so we got the three games in Cincinnati coming up on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the um, 18th, 19th, and 20th. And um, so what do you guys think? I mean, you know, pretty exciting stuff. The White Sox going to make their first appearance in the playoffs, and I think they're going to win the division. Let me know. You guys think they can win the division? I mean, I think now, it, with this, with how we did against the Twins, I think we got a real shot at actually winning this thing. This, uh, um, well, not only the playoffs, but maybe even the American League. I mean, right now, technically, we are the best team in the American League. So, um, you know, there's there's nothing to say we can't do it. So, but I definitely want to know what you guys think. Um, let me know in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up for the video. If you're watching, you just happen to stumble along here, or you watch me quite often, but you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Doesn't cost you a cent. And you get high quality content, especially about the White Sox and baseball in general a little bit too. You get Stratomatic um, games, football and baseball. And you get my picks every week in the NFL. That's good stuff, man. Those go like hotcakes. So, um, yeah. That's, that's what I got for you right now. But what do you guys think? I want to hear from all of you. But for right now, that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Because I got to go party it up. Signing off.